to the entire world. Be blessed and stay phenomenal. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but let this true story motivate you. You know, I am going to use my life story as an example. I have a fully disabled son. He can't walk. He can't talk. He can't sit. He can't stand. He can't crawl. He can't eat food on his own. He has a G-tube in his stomach. He's had multiple surgeries. He's had several, several near-death experiences. He just had a complete spinal surgery with 50 plus screws and two rods in his back. Now, I tell you this because I still have faith. I still have no fear. I still renew my mind every single day within the Lord. I will not stop. I am relentlessly relentless in my pursuit for the kingdom of God and so is my wife. She is very compassionate for her son. She does everything for her son and everything for me and everything for everyone that she loves. This is what it's all about. Keep in mind, Jesus said, the people of God, the children of God shall endure long suffering. That is you. So when you are going through a situation, travail, angst, trauma, it matters not. Keep your eyes stayed upon Jesus. Keep your eyes on God. Place your faith in God. Jesus came spreading the word of God. So keep your heart and your faith in the image and the likeness that you were made in. There will be situations of doubt. Jesus doubt. The disciples doubt. Moses doubt. So many people in life have doubted, but Jesus told us if we have the faith of a mustard seed, just that small amount of faith will take us places because we are dealing with God, the uncreated one, the nameless one. That is what we are dealing with. So when you're dealing with the nameless one, anything is possible. It is like a four-year-old child wanting a toy. They don't have the money for the toy, the means for the toy. They don't know how they're gonna get the toy. They ask their parents, but they're scared to ask their parents. And then they do, and their parents bless them with that toy. That is what it's all about. It's about being that child full of faith, knowing that no matter what, I'm still gonna ask, and hopefully they'll give it to me. They'll get it for me. And that is God for you. God will give you everything you need. Keep in mind what I just said I have to go through what my wife goes through. My son is 15 and we change his diaper several times a day. I know parents get tired of changing diapers. I know you do, but we have been doing it for 15 years for our son. So keep this in mind. My son had gastro surgery that had to save his life. This was an acute situation, meaning this situation happened randomly at the spare of the moment, instantaneously. And we had to make a choice, my wife and I. And we rushed him to the hospital and we were able to get the surgery and we praised God the entire time, the entire time, talking to the doctors, praising the Lord. On the way to the hospital in the ambulance, my wife is in the back of it, praising the Lord. This is what it's all about keeping your faith in giving God the praise that God deserves. So keep your chin up. Keep your heart pure. All the evildoers in this world, they will suffer. But their suffering will be only for a short season. Here on earth, your suffering on earth shall be for endurance. It shall be like Job, like the book of Lamentations. And there's nothing wrong with that because if you praise God during your lamentation, during your season of lamenting, your season of mourning, if you can praise God, I promise you all will work itself out because God is here for you. Jesus is here for you. The Holy Spirit will not deny you. I know who you are. I know you 
because you were made in that same image I was made in. Do you hear me? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Think on this. Think upon this. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm going to speak the truth because I know you can handle the truth. So all that you go through financially, physically, emotionally, spiritually, it's okay because God shall grant the desires of your heart. And just because you go through long suffering does not mean you cannot live in peace and joy. For every single thing I've ever asked God for on top of the long suffering I have and has been anointed, appointed, assigned and activated by God in my life. God has still blessed me with everything I've ever asked for the job I have, the wife I have, the children I have, everything I've ever asked for. To the community, God has given it all to me. And God shall give you all these things, but open your eyes and notice that God has given them to you. We don't have to ask our heart to beat. None of us do. We don't have to say eyes blink, lungs inhale, exhale. We don't have to do these things. They are innate. They happen naturally because they are called the gift of life. That is the present. That is the now. That is the forevermore within you. So keep these things in mind. The things that you need the most and that keep you moving the most, you cannot see. It is not the car that I'm driving that keeps me moving. I can't see my thoughts. I cannot see my brain. I cannot see my heart, but I know it's there. I have enough faith to know that my lungs are inhaling and exhaling. And that is the faith you should keep in God. Now, isn't that something? Be blessed and stay phenomenal. Plan strategically for your life or your life will strategically plan for you. Amen, amen, and amen.